Hi boys and girls, this is your picture of the day tutorial where we are going to learn all about how to make inferences. So when you make an inference, you use what you already know and what you observe to think about what might be going on, to infer what you think is happening in a picture or in a book or in a movie. Okay, so when you infer, you think about what the author's not telling you with their words, but what they want you to figure out on your own. And you do that by using what you observe, what you see, or what the words you read, and pairing that with what you already know in your brain, your schema, to think about what the author's not telling you, what might be going on behind the scenes. So you can use what you know and what you observe to make inferences. And picture of the day helps us practice that. So in your picture of the day, you're going to see a picture. I want you to write three sentences about what you observe. For those sentences, you are going to use the words, I see, and then tell me what you see. So if I'm looking at a picture of a beach, I might write the sentences, I see sand, I see the sun, and I see water. Then I want you to tell me what you infer. What do you think is going on? And to write those sentences, I want you to use a nice long sentence. I want you to use the words I think and because. So you can use your I see sentences, what you observed, to Fill in and tell me why you think something. So here's an example. I think it's a beach because I see sand. You might also say, I think the family is on vacation because I see waves. So I want at least three observations, three I see sentences, and I want you to come up with at least two nice long inferences, okay? What do you infer? What do you think is going on in the picture based on what you see and what you already know? That's how you use what you observe to make an inference in your reading and in your writing. And you can use picture of the day to help you practice that skill.